Ever since the Industrial Revolution in the 19th century, there have been many people who made their mark on British railways. And now on YouTube, one rail enthusiast from the Staffordshire town of Rugeley, who is passionate about the trains and making his own mark on the railways too, give his own opinions about the railways today, the history and the future and gives you a behind the scenes of how to get to their destinations to do what I love best, build trains. Good morning YouTubers and welcome to Rooster Trail Valley. My name is Simon Paul and today we are going to London Houston. The time is now 7.33 and you're wondering where the hell the train is. Actually there's a train coming down with a pendo I think. Anyway. Well, that's alright. Yeah, so you're wondering where the hell our train is. Well the reason is it doesn't exist no more. Yeah, sorry, we, we've come down here for no reason. But um, what I did mention in the last one is, when I went to London on the Friday, is that uh, London Midlands are getting 110 miles per hour trains. Well, it's actually the 350 has been upgraded a little. <laughs> And now our new train is at 7.48. Uh, we were actually going to start this at Rishi Town this morning because we could actually, could actually get a connection to Trevay to get this train here, but London, new timetable, same old London Midland unfortunately, fuck it up. And it didn't help with congestion at New Street either. What is 319.104? It's 319.104. No, mate. Right. Okay. So, London <coughs> fucked up again, and it's also New Street that fucked up because they kept the train in for nine minutes at New Street. By the time we got here, we would miss this connection to London. So, like, new timetable, same old London Midland, I'm afraid. But don't worry, we've got a taxi <coughs> here. They're going to get the taxi fare back plus our train ticket. Oh, yeah. Hit them where it hurts. Mm hmm. Um, so we're going down to London, Houston. We're going to get Tornado down there, and then we go to well, one of my favourite places. I don't know if it's your favourite place or what, but Kensington Olympia. Get it over. I was just about to say that. I have I did a lame version, so I allow you to do a better version. Or we go to a place called Kenny O, or as I like to call it, Kenny O Baby. Or since it's Christmas by the time it's there, Kenny Ho Ho Ho. <laughs> Sorry, I know that was lame, but actually done. You, you can't see my reaction behind this camera. Anyway, so we're going to wait here now, wait for the 748 and see how this 110 miles per hour actually does. Hopefully they should have better services to improve the arrival times into here instead of that three minutes lateness. But we'll see anyway. I thought it was two minutes. No, it's always three. All right. On today's leg of this journey, some unfinished business with FCC. We're staying at Kensington Olympia for a couple of hours. And we're all wondering why the hell we're standing around Chad Verara for. As you see that it's 7.44, guess what's shown up for our train? Fucking typical, I wasted a five on taxi fare now because of this, it's supposed to be late and now it's on bloody time. Well, that will complain about as well, Simon. Mm-hmm. That train took me five minutes, five minutes. We've been deceived by London Midlands lies. Well, it's actually the National Railway Network's lies. This is supposed to be due at 7.48, now it's here at 7.44. We are sorry that the 0748 service to London Houston is delayed by approximately six minutes. We are sorry... And also, 
it's not going too well here as well. The 0748 is now due at 754. New Titanium, same old London bid than before, calling it Literal Trent Valley, Tamworth, Apperston, Lenneton, Rugby, here comes the best part, no Northampton. Up to Keith Edgewell, no Watford Junction, and London Newton.
we listened to that and we've got some unfinished business with you know who. Yeah, come on. Mm -hmm. the drink. Yeah. Be our train to get us to get her, baby. She stops there. Change here for National Rail Services. A light here for the Olympia Exhibition Centre.
you know that uh, Kelly O or Kelly O baby or Kelly Ho Ho? Um, it's not Christmas yet. Well, it will be when this is probably uploaded, or maybe January. It's not Christmas. Anyway, so we're here now, and um, we've been veggie here for a few hours now. We've got some fifty nines. We're in here at the moment, but it's freezing fucking cold out there. <laughs> Excuse the language. And uh, well, this used to have uh, everything really. Great Western, Southern, no coast stopping here. Expresses all the way through, and um, then it had like cross country services, right, and all that. You've had like 47s coming here, stopping here for the, if you like Manchester Brighton's or you used to have everything at the one time, but now it's just. Yeah, because I remember you, you've got a DVD, Kenny Oto Brighton Paddy Cab Rider 47, mm-hmm. haven't you? But now all it is, it's just London Overground and Southern Services. I think you used to get the, um, the Rugby Gatwick's here as well. Yeah, the Rugby Gatwick's. The Connex. Services. Connex. Yeah. Really, yeah. But um, all you get now is the services to um, Clapham Junction and South Road on platform three over there. Yep. This side is Milton Keynes Central, um, Williston, yeah, and some extent onto Stratford. Stratford. And on this side, which you won't see anything today, is that your know, district line services, which do you all on week- weekends and public events. There's a public event coming up the 17th to 23rd, so you might get some tube there. Might I give them permission to see what it is? Um, oh, it's only a horse show. Oh, it's only a horse show. No! No, you're all right. We're here now till <coughs> the east when it could be dark, and then we're going to do a third railway from here to Houston. Yes. So. Which I all win. <coughs> like I said, you had the voice <coughs> of Brighton here. And God knows what else. It had everything, now it's got nothing. I'm, I'm going to apologise there because I shook violently. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> yeah, but I hit the camera. Should the camera? Yes. I'll shake your head in. Oh, <clears throat> anyway. So we're waiting to see what else comes through now. There should be a 92 any second, but I don't know if it's a run or not. The 16 no, 4 E32. 4 E32, dollars water, scum full steel. So we're just waiting now to see. It's not what we promised. I think it's about to be 4 M67, dollars water, hands full. Also quickly while we're at Kelly Owen, what you're looking across here used to be the old uh, motor rail that they had. Basically car trains out here to all over the place. The building still exists but it's now just a car park now for Euro car. But there it used to be the motor rail platforms at Kensington Olympia which like I said, car trains take a car anywhere around the world, around the UK, Scotland as well. I'd sure like to mention that in this documentary as well. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 
Samaritans. And this is our the train back to 1943 to, well, we still want the off at Birmingham. Uh, I've rode on this before, so it's one of the newest oh, ones. Oh, yes, there's a nameplate. I believe you got one of the I want that bloody nameplate. See, Chad Barara. I'll find coach B. It's prepared for boarding. Like a plane really. That's very nice F you. <laughs> Okay, so we, we've got 391.27 picture out of it. By the way, anyone who's looking to get the um, head leaders with the Alstom logo, be careful, they're ripping the Alstom logos off some of them. All right. We've got a picture of 391.27 and she's not got her Alstom on the front. Yeah, that is correct. Where are Coach B yet? No, ED. ED. we got another couple of carriages to go yet. Uh. 
my right side. Yeah? But we get off the train, we want to be right to the back. Right to the back, why is that? Because that's where the uh, thingy is. Coach C. Train crew's in there. Why do you have to pull us out in the cold? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, nice and warm. Right, where's our seats? I think I've seen our seats. It's a nice empty coach. Um, nope. What, these? These? Yeah. Yeah, 32, yeah. Perfect. Oh. If you're obstructed by whoever this pendulum there is. So we are leaving you so it's just a pendo in the way. <laughs> Serial dot. No. Tough luck on them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 this 
same thing happens all the time. We show up at Terry Star, nothing new here. <laughs> It's 175, 17 though. Mm -hmm. Something new. The last, I don't know, is it? The last block. Everything is actually on time. The last block. The last block. The last block. The last block. The last We're now back at Woosie Town, the end of today's journey, and um, well, we went around London in a circle. Um, when we got to Woosie Trent, well, we did actually stop, we were going to start a bit, like I said this morning, but due to London Midland fucking up as usual, um, well, and New Street didn't help either, we had to get a taxi down to Trent Valley, so we had to start in Trent Valley, not here. But, um, one thing I did notice this morning before we got our train to leave, there was a train arriving, supposed to be arriving at 7.43. It came out of the corner at Trevor at 7.41. Arrived into, well, the crew train arrived at 7.42. A minute early for a change. Looks like things are actually brightening up on the Trent Valley line. Because usually they were three minutes late arriving anyway. That's a plus. But now, they ride two minutes, a bit, a bit, nearly a minute early, or just over a minute early. Um, our train was late, we did get it to London a bit late, but the ride, it's a bit like high speed one, even though it's not like 140 odd miles per hour. Uh, what it is, is basically London to Milton Keynes, London to Rugby is like your high speed one, basically. You're on the fast line. But then when you got, but rugby onwards, it's like domestic areas. Because high speed ones, it's not like high speed one, because high speed one's a bit faster than the West Coast Bay line. And they have better units. Yeah, but it's like, on high speed one, you have, say Pancras Ashford high speed, and then after Ashford, I think, it's domestic lines and all that. That's what it's similarity like, but there's a speed difference, that's the only difference. Mm. And plus, it's the West Coast Bay line, it's a high speed route, but it's not a high, high, high speed, like high speed one. Hmm. So, um, we got to rugby on the slow lines, but they put us on platform five with the Birmingham trains now have to use six. <laughs> there was actually people um, on platform four this morning waiting for a train. Apparently there was a train scheduled to stop at platform four at rugby for once. Shock horror. Um, so that happened. Um, well, we got to rugby a bit late. They went to Finsbury Park or Finsbury Park and uh, got Tornado. Then went to uh, Wilston because you have to change there for Kenny O or Kensington Olympia. Based at Kensington Olympia, it was a bit cold, but we managed to go through it. Um, then we did our third rail race. I won't spoil anything there. Um, also, Kensington Olympia was surprised to see a 455 there. I know you London <laughs> regulars that like to venture down there know about it, but for me it's a bit rare to see one down there, in that area. Hmm. And had tanked around Houston, got on 390-157 Chad Ferrara to Birmingham, got there 2110, so we had to rush over to get the turbo start quickly, but we got it and here we are. Um, Unfortunately, this is the last documentary of 2012. No! Boo. But, to all my haters, and uh, you think, oh, is this going to be the end? Eh, uh -uh. I'll be back in 2013. And, um, well, then, also in 2012, we had some good runs, some bad points. 
be honest, I try make my videos as interesting as possible. If I have a bright idea, I will do it. Sometimes it might pay off, sometimes it might not. But at the end of the day, I'm just trying to make it a good video. Um, if an idea comes to me, I will use that idea. If they don't, then if I think it's a bad idea, I won't use it. But I take a gamble on these sometimes. So some are good, some are bad, but at the end of the day, I take a gamble. That's what I do best. So we had some good places. We've been to York for Railfest, um, been to North Allerton, did the big trip uh, around to London. We pissed off FCC twice. <laughs> and, um, well, you can see all the videos on the Facebook group if you go to the Facebook group, so called British Rally Journeys. Um, we also have a Twitter. If you don't have to go on if you don't want to, but if you want to, you can explore it. Oh, by all means. I've just thought, haven't you actually got to do one more? Isn't there the um, awards ceremony? Oh yes, actually. See, forgot he, he forgot a There's diary. There's going to be a special thing, which is going to be a award ceremony. It's just going to be a little bit, basically, with awards, best, worst, whatever. And that's it, really. But this is the last official documentary for 2012. I'm Simon Paul. I hope to see you in 2013, and good night. Good morning everyone, it's Simon here. Today it's Monday, January the 16th, and I'm on my biggest trip to date yet, which is all the way around. You have to ask permission first before you take any picture or anything. You can't take any picture or video here. Can you come with us please? You have to come to the office. This. The expiry date, well, as you can see for itself. Just a beautiful station to be honest. When I first came here it was absolutely breathtaking. But it's still the same. Wish it was a bit more slow though. We are sorry that the 1107 service to Hereford is delayed by approximately six minutes. And also, it's by co-pilot. You see that I've been back now with rugby. Or just for the record, my opinion of rugby is still the same. Too many platforms not needed. First Capital Connect. Today is March 2nd, and I'm coming to deal with you today. I could do with one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Oops. I did it again. <laughs>
I really enjoyed today. forget some of these we haven't seen any of these yet and we haven't seen any of these I found this poster for a nightclub called Culture or Qatar in Stafford of the only way is Essex are you fucking kidding me Friday the 13th is the horse's arse. You tried to fucking screw me. It did not good. No, 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 you failed. This is what I think of Friday the fucking 13th. So just because of those comments. Shit. event of the snow is fighting here. Real this bitches! 
how they kiss. There's Cali. Two little thin crappy platforms, a shelter, and the only thing decent about it is the headboards. Um, it's still raining at Kikaldi, you see that, and someone is brave enough to stay out in the rain. He's thinking, what the fuck are you filming before? Oh, right down me now. How much is to our home station, Rushi Town, which is there? Oh, oh, there it is, look. Fucking hell, 117 quid. How much did you just say? Any time. The off peaks even more than the any time. <laughs> any time return, 234. Central for the came along. Does he even have a number? I think it's 380. They catch the last train back to Mooji Pocket Trent Valley. Typical. Because of them. That our trade is delayed. This trade is delayed. Here, which I won't mention any days, <coughs> but um, to be honest, he wasn't, he wasn't in the wrong. Did you ever see you will see an A4 running around like so? Or what, like this? This is my A4 running around. Yeah, it's shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, you shit, like We're going down that way. Do you have permission to take pictures? If not, can you stop taking pictures? Uh, no. 